Herb Gray is the type of guy that you, that uh, everyone has fond memories of that you just believe are just one of those icons that uh, that will remain here forever, a and he will. He'll remain with us in in our many stories. He'll remain with us in our lessons that we've had from him. I was lucky to have had really started my my political career, I guess, in terms of uh, volunteering for Mr. Mr. Gray many years ago. Um, he's the, the type of member that many look up to here in Windsor, in Toronto, in Ottawa, across the country. He served Canada for 40 years, but most importantly, he served this community. And that is what made Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray. He was all about Windsor. He was all about home. He was all about listening to individuals and responding to individuals' concerns and just really being a part of, of Windsor. And it's, it's that type of dedication and commitment that we all carry with us, that, that we all aspire to be the same type of member that, that Mr. Gray was for this area. You know, when I did canvas with him, when I volunteered, or when I was with Mr. Gray, everybody knew Mr. Gray, everybody would come out to speak with him, and everybody respected Mr. Gray, regardless of party affiliation. Um, he was Mr. Gray, and uh, we all, like I said, have our, our fond memories. I'm certainly thinking of him today, I'm thinking of his family. My deepest condolences, my prayers and thoughts go out to his wife Sharon, his children, Elizabeth and Jonathan, of course, through this time and to thank them, to thank them for sharing Herb with us for those 40 years, for allowing him to do what he did and, and to really have that, to be that, that legacy for this area. You know, when you look at a man again that whose career spanned 40 years, who was in 11 different portfolios, including to be Deputy Prime Minister, uh, a man that had very humble beginnings here in Windsor and rose to that level. He certainly had a number of impacts, like I said, on, on families, on very personal issues such as, you know, newcomers and, and the multiculturalism and diversity of our community and his support to that. As you know, the Multicultural Council even has their Herb Gray Awards recognizing that diversity element of it. We have to remember, too, the support that he provided, especially through the 80s for the auto industry as well and, and what he did for our community at that time as well so it, it's really his day-to-day -day support that he had and the strength of that dedication and commitment and of always remembering where his roots from of always remembering that Windsor was where he was from and that he carried that with him at all times.